just going to make a video for you guys today about uh, painting on fabric. Specifically, we're going to do some t-shirts uh, today. Um, just give you a little bit of background. I've been painting on fabric probably since I was about 14. It always just seemed like really, anytime you have something blank and white, i got to paint on it. Shoes, jeans, jackets, t-shirts. Uh, in fact, I was selling t-shirts that I painted with, uh, would take petunias and dip them in paint and then stamp them and put it around the yolk of a t-shirt. And I was selling those when I was a teenager and that was kind of my first foray into uh, um, <laughs> retail art. Um, I sometimes do it by hand, but more often than not, it is something like that, something where I take an object, paint it, and then use it to stamp the design. Um, this one I'm wearing right now is strings. I just coated strings with paint and then laid them on the uh, tank top and then pressed them down. Uh, so that's a real simple uh, idea. We may talk about that one later. Today we're going to talk about stamping. Um, I've used many objects to create my stamps. I've used erasers. Everybody's probably heard of the whole potato thing. Um, but I find this material that you can get in art stores, I think it's called linoleum, actually. It's very similar to a rubber eraser. It's very easy to cut. I mean, it, it literally is like, you know, cuts like, cuts like butter. Just boom. So, you, all you have to do is take a pencil, pen, sharpie, whatever, draw your draw whatever your design is, cut it out, and then you have a stamp. Um, and that's one that I had already made. I have made some stamps. <laughs> kind of hard to tell because they're all covered with paint, but basically I made it to create uh, this t-shirt. I wanted a stamp that was very sharp, angular, kind of barbed wire-y, kind of a, uh, alternative funky. Um, that's the last time I used those stamps. I'm going to try them again because this t-shirt's getting kind of stretched out and beat up. Um, but I'm going to try it in a different color combination this time. I'm going to try it in like, think of like flame colors. See, if, see what that looks like. Okay, so as far as the actual technique of how to do the uh, stamping on the t-shirt, I'll show you that right now. I have a plain white t-shirt here. Um, as you can see, I cut the uh, neck out and the sleeves because that's the way I like it. Well, I think it looks better on me. Um, so we have our stamps that we carved. Um, ouch! That one lost a chunk. That's eh, okay. Still good. Um, here is my paint palette my tubes of acrylic that I'm going to be using. So we just need to get some paint. Let's paint out here. And so we're going to do like reds and orange flame colors. Black and white with some lighter and darker bits. And you want to thin it down a little bit with water so you get a good flow on your stamp. I usually like to work from the light colors to the dark colors. Uh, there's no particular hard and fast rule about that. I'm going to mix up a kind of a pale yellowish orange. I'll bring this over here so you can see a little bit better. Put a red in there. Oh, and I forgot to mention I usually put a board between the layers of t-shirt, board, tinfoil, something just to make sure your color when you're stamping doesn't bleed down to the next um, level if, if it gets, you know, 
You don't want your pattern on the back of your t-shirt. Now there are a number of ways you can apply the paint to your stamp. One, you can just directly put the stamp in the paint if you mix a big enough area, or you can paint the stamp itself. I kind of can tend to go back and forth between the two. Um, I do both. Uh, sometimes it's fun to actually paint, like maybe I'd paint part of this yellow and part of it red, and then you'd get a swirling effect um, on, on the stamp itself. So I, I've been known to do both. Let me just show you both. Get this bigger area here. And depending on what effect you're going for, it doesn't even really matter how much you mix the color. You may want kind of a swirly effect. So let's try a small one here first. Got the color. Press. And voila, you have your stamp. A couple more of those. And I'll show you just for fun. Let's see, just a little bit of a little bit of red. Maybe get a little more of a swirl effect on that one. Let's do some larger ones in that color. I'm going to paint these since it's large. It's kind of hard to get into the paint. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just, I mean, you know, that's a good project you could do with your kids. They'd love it. Have, have at it. Now, of course, you can buy ready-made stamps. That's an option, too. Stamp, stamp thing seems to be pretty popular. Every time I go to the craft store, they seem to have a pretty wide selection of stamps. So, you know, if you don't feel like designing, carving, and all that stuff, you know, go buy some. Right on that one. Let's see, let's do this one a little bit differently. <laughs> now let's try another color. It's a nice orange color there. And of course, you can start to overlap them. Whoa! <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> oh crap, I got some paint on our shirt! I'm going to get some clean water. I guess that gives us a chance to talk about mistakes. Um, acrylic is water soluble, so if we can get this while it's still wet, we might be able to pick up that's not much paint. Honestly, probably wouldn't have been a big deal if we hadn't worried about it at all. But yeah, once it dries, you know, it's there. Which is the whole reason why we're using it to paint these t-shirts. Okay. Back to the stamping.
Uh, it's also a good thing. <laughs> well, it's a good thing as far as I'm concerned in anything in life. Not to be too concerned with perfection. Because as you can see, some of these are coming out kind of patchy, kind of broken. That kind of just lends to its air of um, ruggedness, roughness. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but not a bad thing in my book. It's just kind of up to you how much of this you want to do. At this point, I, I personally think this needs more. This needs more layers, more. I get to have, I don't know, it's just kind of like when I do a, a painting. I just keep adding until it feels like it has a presence. Tell you what, I don't like that color. I'm not going to use it. Let's get more red. just splattered a bunch all over there. That's okay. Hey, why not? Why not splatter some on there? It's just splatter. Might add a little bit of interest to it. Yeah, I like that. I went and dug up some brown because I was not liking the way the black just... It's not working with these colors as far as I was concerned. So, I got some brown and I'm doing kind of a dark reddish brown because I think for me this needs a little darkness to add a little depth to it. Yeah, that, that's working. That's what we need. I'm really liking this splattering idea. I don't think I've done that on a t-shirt before. That was kind of a happy accident. You gotta have a, your paint good and wet to do that. I think this one's done. What do you think? I'm just going to let it dry. doesn't take long. 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and that's it. You don't really need to do anything else to it. Wash it, wear it as you would normally. And I honestly have never had one... Uh, I don't think I've ever had one wear out as far as like the paint uh, fading or wearing out. I mean, they pretty much... I've had them for, you know, 10, 10 plus years. Uh, and they look pretty much the same. So have at it. It's fun. It's easy.